This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by GoDaddy. You've landed a VC meeting. Now, what do you bring with you? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. Today's question is a video question from Ryan. Hey Jay, my name is Ryan. I'm always watching your videos and you're always asking for video responses, so I figured I'd go ahead and leave you one. I'm working on an iOS application right now. I'd really like to pitch it to investors at some point, uh, but I was curious, when you're going to meet with VCs or angels, what would be some good things to bring with you? And lastly, uh, what should you wear? Okay, Ryan, to paraphrase, there are two things you're asking for. I mean, essentially, what to bring with you to your investor pitch with a venture capitalist, and I guess the second thing is what to wear. You know, it's a totally legitimate question. Well, you know, um, number one thing uh, on the list of things to bring with you to a VC are the people who count. If you're by yourself and you don't have a team yet, um, well, you might be better served getting a couple team members because it definitely makes you a more attractive investment. Um, but assuming that you're by yourself, of course you can't do this. But what I would do is you know, take with you uh, any kind of executive team members that are valuable, um, particularly, you know, hopefully in a previous episode when we were talking about choosing these people, they present themselves well and they can join you. You have to lead this meeting, but bring them with you because it adds credibility to your pitch. The second thing is materials. You're gonna need a pitch deck. Um, everybody has a pitch deck, but that pitch deck needs to be really straightforward. I would avoid text as much as you can. You can't avoid all text, but avoid text on your on your slide deck if you can. Um, it should be something that could be given in 20 minutes. It has to be short and concise. Avoid animations. You know, we can probably get into presentation details in another episode, but, but make sure that that deck is with you. I would bring materials related to your business plan, an executive summary of your business plan. Just have printouts in case they're a venture capitalist or angel that likes you know, physical reading materials. You can always give them a PDF as well. Um, and then also, if you've done any financial modeling, which I recommend, you know, there are many free locations on the internet where you can download you know, sort of the, the typical financial model that you can insert your own costs into. It's, it's a nice thing to have. If you can open up uh, a, a spreadsheet on your laptop that says, this is when we expect to make money, even if it's a total shot in the dark with very little you know, evidence to support it yet, at least you're thinking about it. And I think that shows that you've done that homework and that you're taking this business seriously. Um, and you're not just thinking of it as a product, but you're thinking of it as a whole business. So definitely from a, from a material standpoint, I would suggest that. As far as presentation and like what to wear, you know, there are different investors and different opinions on this. I tend to be a little bit old school in that I think that you need to be respectable. So trying to be the cocky entrepreneur that shows up in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and sandals or something and thinks that it's kind of cool that you don't care. I would be put off by that. Um, I would think just, you know, I mean, if you could just wear, even if you want to wear a t-shirt, it's fine, but, but don't, you know, uh, be offensive in some way. Wear long pants, put on, put on a nice shirt if you, if you can. Just, just show a tiny bit of effort. Um, you don't have to wear a tie, but show a tiny bit of effort because if you, you know, you have to show some respect to the folks that you're meeting with. It's the same thing with job interviews. I use the exact same uh, uh, philosophy around job interviews. Even if my company, like at Dig, we had a culture where people could literally wear whatever they wanted to work and we didn't care. When you show up for an interview, look decent, you know, because that shows that you care about it. That's all. Um, you know, I have had, definitely I've, I've advised uh, companies where uh, the brand is, is sort of skyrocketing and there's, there's some kind of uh, awareness of that brand. In those cases, it could be, I think, perfectly acceptable to wear your brand. If you've got a t-shirt that says your, your name and you know, has your, your trademark on it, bring it along because it, it, it 
you know, it, it says that you're committed to that brand and that you live and breathe it and you're passionate about it. So in a minute, uh, some more tips about, you know, basically how to present yourself when you arrive. Um, but first, let's thank our sponsor. This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by GoDaddy. Looking to drive viewers to your video content? Then get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. .tv domains are perfect for podcasters, video bloggers, people like me, anyone with something to say. And they're available now at GoDaddy.com. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to order right from your phone and manage your current domains and more. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision 3. And if you enter the code ASKJ7, for $7.99, you can get your .net, .biz, and .org domains. Okay, so you've arrived, you've got your materials, you're dressed well, you, you have basically your team, ready to go, you know, I'd say one of the, the last things uh, in terms of how to present yourself uh, is, is about practice. You must spend time with those other team members, knowing what those materials are, knowing where the handoff points are in the presentation. Practice around a table and pre pretend you're presenting to the most intimidating person on earth and go through this process. I've said it before in terms of preparing for a VC presentation you practice, but now imagine that you've got all these materials together in one place and be prepared to be uh, you know, pushed off course a little bit and, um, and made a little uncomfortable. Go through this process a number of times. So practice, practice, practice. And you know, I, I promise you, your experience there will be fine no matter what you're wearing. Thanks for joining us on Ask Jay. I really want your questions. Send them to me via email to askj at revision3.com or you can use a video question. We love the video questions like today's. Um, please, if you do that, use the video uh, option on YouTube, which is youtube.com slash askjadelson. I know that sometimes the, the new format of YouTube, it's kind of hard to find this stuff. If you, if you try hard enough, you'll find it. Please submit those video questions. We love the ones we're getting. And then finally, Twitter is a great way to communicate with us here at Ask Jay. At Jay Adelson is my Twitter handle. Um, would love to see both questions, but also just your thoughts about these topics. Um, let's start a conversation. So until next time, thanks for joining us.